hello everyone welcome again and in this demo i'm going to show you demonstration of online food donation project in java using jsp sublet mysql and jdbg okay so from the technical side it's following mbc architectures bins are there controllers are there that contains the sublets models are there that contain the database transactions and the utility as a helper and for the front end it's using under the bab app it's using jsp HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. It's a Maven project. Application is deployed over the Tomcat server. So mm, we are going to start the demo. Before I'm going to start the demo, just follow this step to run the application. And here we have like uh, this database. So this database is uh, here as we have donation table and geo table and the request food and the users. Okay, different users are there. Uh, so two types of three types of users into the application. The first is admin, second is a user, and third is a NGO. So to in order to run this application, what you need to do just right click on the root folder of the application, go to run as, run on server, select the server as a Tomcat eight foot five. Please next when you're finished. Also, uh, like I'm going to show you demo in this video, but how can you get this project? So you can check the link in the description box. You can directly buy the project from over there. Or you can connect with us our support team via whatsapp email or skype so we will do the complete remote support setup in case you face any issue you can connect over there uh, after downloading the code or buying the code you will do the remote configuration so we'll take your machine on a config remote and then we'll help you to run it okay so when you run it uh, you will see the application like this and after that you have to move to the login and uh, there are three options like you can directly log in from here two registration options are there first one for the ngo and the user so let's register as an ngo first so i'm going to enter a data like uh, testing data and here i have added a login id and the mobile number should be 10 digit valid number two three four five six seven eight nine ten and the unique id so i'm just going to enter this id and the ngo name so let's say i'm going to say i can create an ngo so i just registered as an ngo if i refresh my database table now i will see a new entry here as an ngo that's it now <clears throat> i can log in by this ngo similarly i can register as a user and this user will be displayed over there so you can just pull out this detail and log in over there so there are three types of users first i'm going to log in as an admin i'm going to show you how the admin things are working and what admin can perform over there and then we'll move to the uh, other users so when i log in as an admin admin can check the list of other users like the ngos and the external user into the database after that ngo list like all the ngo list will be displayed here admin have rights to delete them view donations so whatever the donation is done by the users it will be displayed here to the users and admin can track the requested food so let's suppose i just this is a requested food for the for particular ngo now let's log in as a user and request some food so i just refresh my database and check a user so let's say that we have this user 2123 and i just enter username password and view requested food so this donation is successfully and let's say i'm going to here donate like i'm going to create another uh, food request over here so let's say select category quantity and the select ngo name so here under the voluntary donate food i can enter the category let's say Let's say school or somewhere enter the food here so let's say i'm going to say uh four five packets and the quantity uh, okay so sorry here we have to enter the food name so i just enter food name quantity let's say 60 and select ngo and group it by ngo jordan jordan so i'm going to this so donation saved successfully now if i go to the history this will be displayed to me and this is the requested food that is done by any other user but it's done like donation is successfully so now i'm going to just log in as a ngo this new ngo and let's see what ngo can do 
over there so I just enter username and the password I can say requested food like this NGO can request a food so let's suppose and I can check the view donations there is a billing the some 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 other user donors are willing to donate so this is the request that we just raised after that requested food let's suppose this uh, Jordan um, Jordan NGO is going to request some food so let's say in the category of the school food enter here let's say I'm going to enter some dummy, dummy name enter quantity let's say 50 enter address click on save this request will be sent to the all the users and if anybody have this uh, like uh, availability they can request it here I can track an order as an NGO so let's quickly log in again by the user and fulfill this request so I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to log in again with this user I just log in again with the this user we requested food you can see the new requested come here click to donate and if I'm a user I have this thing so I can go and click on the save like and I can fulfill the sender's contact number I can update my contact number and it's fetching from my personal details when I click on the save the request is done and the same status will be updated to the all the users so that's it all about the uh, like project uh, demonstration features and functionality of online food donation project uh, from the technical side i'm going to repeat the things again it's using jsp servlet jdbc and uh, html css jsp jstl bootstrap tomcat server maven following mbc architecture to show the information using mysql database and and then and then and um it's using mysql worker ventures id so if you need the source code don't hesitate to connect uh, you can directly connect us over the WhatsApp or Skype and take an inquiry. Thank you.